was inspired when Emer's mom was gardening and found nodules in the roots for pea plants. Unsure of what the nodules were, Emer asked her science teacher who told her Rhizobia bacteria lived in the nodules. We found out about nitrogen fixing bacteria and we were inspired to experiment with this bacteria to try and speed up the germination rate of crops such as barley, wheat and oats. Then the hard work began. Kira, Emer, and Sophie, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> so you said there the hard work began. So what was the hard work? So basically after we got the idea, uh, we decided that we would start our experiments. So this involved looking at over 10,000 seeds. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. And we used to get up at like every six hours to check them. Mm. Might take like two hours. So we were kind of sleep deprived for a bit, but it, it was worth it in the end. And you were doing this while you were doing your junior cert as well. So you're trying to study and do all of these kind of tests and everything. But actually for people who are watching, tell us a little bit more about the project. Just kind of, you know, people who like me, who don't actually understand exactly what it's all about. So basically uh, for the project, we took a naturally occurring bacteria called Rhizobium and we applied it to seeds like barley and oats. And when we did this, we found that we increased the germination rate by 50%. Amazing, yeah. So basically they start growing faster, which is really good. And yeah. also when we grew them, we found there was an increase in the dry mass yield by up to 74% which could lead to the production of more food worldwide. That's incredible. And um, you also went on then to, you won the BT Young Scientist Award. I, we actually interviewed you guys there. Then you went on to win the European Young Scientist Award. So like, how many doors did that open for you guys then? It was so amazing. I mean, being up at the EU Young Scientist and meeting all these amazing teenagers with such projects that are absolutely insane. I mean, I didn't understand half of them. Oh, I just about understood <laughs> yours. <laughs> And you won, and then you as well you went on to win the Google Science Fair Award. Yeah. So it's like you're winning award and award after award. So um, <laughs> tell, tell us about that. It's kind of, like it's kind of crazy really to think about it. I mean, we started off this project three years ago and we never had an inkling that it would take us to where we've been, you know. Mm. So uh, we qualified in uh, August into the final 15 of the Google Science Fair. So this is from like 100,000 entries. So we were so shocked and we were so honoured. Yeah. So uh, in September, we got the opportunity to go to Google's Mountain View headquarters. Uh, where in, is that? In California, oh, Silicon incredible. Valley. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> exactly. And it, it was an amazing building an amazing place and the experience that they laid on for us was absolutely incredible uh, so we went there we got to meet some amazing people um, and we got like their projects were incredible they were insane you know mm. uh, and we went and we met these people made some great new friends and then, great contacts I'd say as well <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah great contacts certainly <laughs> And uh, then at the end of the experience, we were named as global winners of the Google Science Fair. So we were we were astounded. We never thought that we even stood a chance no. in our age category. Yeah. So to win the whole science fair, it's it mad. And tell what what were the prizes? What did you win? Like, and I know that, that there were some money prizes, but did all that go back into the project? So uh, we won fifty thousand dollars in nice. scholarship. So that that's really good. Uh, we also uh, won a few trips. So we'll be going to the Galapagos Islands. We'll cool. be going to. Um, do some like astronaut training with Virgin Galactic. Wow. We'll also be going to Washington DC to like a National Geographic mm -hmm. conference. And then we have other things that have kind of come up from that, like different conferences, like in yeah. Lisbon and stuff. So yeah, we've got a picture of you though. guys in at the Google Science Fair, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and what's the future for this project? Because it's incredible. Yes. Yeah, so we really want to commercialize it because we want it to be used everywhere in the world, especially in the developing mm -hmm. world, yeah. where farmers can use this to make their crops grow faster. So we're yeah. hoping to get it out to them and for everybody to use it, basically. Yeah. And you guys really are getting out there because you've been listed <laughs> alongside by Time. They listed you as, um, as some of the 25 most influential teenagers in the world. You've been listed alongside, I've got a few of the names here, um, Obama's children, Lord, uh, Kylie and Kendall Jenner. Like, when did you find <laughs> out about this? Uh, this was, uh, I, I, I got the news over Facebook, incidentally, yeah. uh, and it just, it was surreal almost, you know. I looked at the list and I thought it was just, you know, another article that had come out about us online and I noticed what it was and I was like, this is big. Yeah. And it, it was such an honour, like I know a lot of people highlight the likes of Jaden Smith mm. and the Kardashians, but I think it was like a massive honour yeah. to be with them, um, with Malala. Yeah, just, we actually have a picture of Malala, yeah, she was an incredible teenager, yeah, like I absolutely mean, amazing. To be um, on that Yeah, list. and like people can vote for you, we are actually running out of time, but yeah. people can vote for you at, um, at time.com and girls, thank you so much for joining us and thank um, thanks a million for coming in and um, guys tune in tomorrow when we are going to be speaking with Ruti a lady who has written songs for One Direction's brand new album and a massive hit for Britney Spears so we'll see you then